Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. In today's video, we are going to be discussing my potential occupation, media relations. So, what is media relations? Well, media relations is a branch off of public relations and is defined as working with and being intricately involved with the media. As you can see on our little media dial here, media relations dabbles in many variations such as radio, television, newspapers, magazines, and of course, the internet. The purpose of media relations is to positively and professionally inform the public, that's us, of an organization's mission, policies, and practices. Media relations plays an integral role in putting out fires that the media can tend to inflame, conjure creativity with their publics, and offer potential change in good in an ever-changing and fast-paced world. Media relations is not just about influencing the public to have a more positive outlook on a company, but sometimes the repercussions of an organization's actions must be dealt with. Let us go ahead now and take a look at our first media relations image dealing with a critical public issue and analyze what we see. In this first image, we are presented with a comic strip style representation of the BP oil spill. With general knowledge, what we can immediately take away is the reference to the BP oil spill back in 2010, which not only ruined the water, animal, and ecosystem, but also killed 11 oil rig workers as well. This was a tall order for media relations practitioners to tackle. So now, let us see what this image is trying to portray to us. In this first column, we see BP CEO Tony Hayward performing a common tactic of media relations known as image restoration. By exclaiming in a speech bubble, I want my life back. According to the Benowitz theory of image restoration, he is utilizing mortification, or basically just saying sorry. In the next column, we see a headstone with 11 BP rig workers etched on the front and a yellow hard hat leaning off to the side dripping in oil. They too have a speech bubble which says, easy for you to say, in response to Hayward's comment. This depiction emphasizes the negligence of Hayward's comment as the deceased individuals speak up and exemplify their death in that they can never get a life back because it was taken away due to the BP oil spill. In our final column, we see a bird and three fishes drowning in oil-drenched water, agreeing with the headstone in the second column by saying, likewise, very passively. The last two columns depict a vital image, and it is oil in both, an oil spill that has taken lives and destroyed a natural ecosystem. One could be led to really ponder on Hayward's statement of getting his life back, but if the detrimental effects of oil continues, will there even be a life to look forward to for any of us? Although the comic strip is intended to be comical, it is emphasizing the underlying message of what is hurting the planet and the type of men in power who seem to lack conviction for their actions. Let me ask you a question. What is the first place you think of when you are craving a burger? Well, I hop, of course, but in this case, I hob. In our second image, we are going to analyze advertising and media relations. Many people know that IHOP is the international house of pancakes, not burgers. But when a new line of hamburgers graced the menu, there was only one way to draw burger lovers to a pancake joint. Change the name, temporarily. If no one were to ever know what IHOP was, we can still notice the man wearing an apron holding a plate of burgers. This suggests that he may either be the cook or the waiter of the restaurant. This image also entices hunger by displaying the platter of food right in the center with the IHOB logo hovering above it. The choice to have the man carrying the food be faceless is to not have your attention drawn away from the main attraction, the burgers. There is also a motif of the color blue in the background, as well as on the lettering of the apron, which also spells burgers, burgers, burgers. 
There's also a small red section to emphasize an unlimited order of fries when ordering one of these patties to really entice potential customers to spend their money at IHOP and not anywhere else. Everything about this image is very mirthful and inviting. Who knew flipping the P in IHOP upside down to a B would cause such a commotion? I can easily say I'm pleased. I mean, pleased. Our final image highlights one of the many inspirational and world-changing things media relations has the honor of playing a part in, and it is having a voice. In this image, we are analyzing two boxes of Barnum's Animals Crackers. What we notice is that the front display of the animals are very different from each other. PETA, otherwise known as People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, reached out to Nabisco and declared that the original packaging did not portray animals in a liberated state and demanded it should be changed. When we analyze the image on the right, just by the way it was drawn, we know it is an older design. But we also notice four animals, a black panther, alligator, gorilla, and giraffe, trapped in their cages and looking very unamused. The box on the left paints a very different story as we see five animals walking side by side in what looks to be a safari type scene, looking very joyous and most importantly, free. We even notice the nutritional content at the bottom, reminding consumers of the potential health benefits as an added value to drive up sales. Because these crackers are primarily marketed to children, it is understandable for groups like PETA to instill a better image of animals into a young mind and greatly stress how every animal should properly be treated. Public and media relations is not a one-size-fits-all. It comes in many shapes and sizes. Whether for a good or even an undesirable reason, media relations is there interacting with the people, communicating with the media, and keeping the world's organizations from falling apart. A business cannot exist without the help from its PR and media relations team. In the words of Microsoft creator and billionaire Bill Gates, Quote, if I was down to my last dollar, I'd spend it on public relations, unquote. <laughs>